Jermaine O'Neal and Sean Marion already traded for each other before All-Star Weekend, but what's about to happen post all-Star break. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com. Let's bring in our NBA columnist Ken Berger to break it down. And uh, Ken, let's talk about current members of the Suns because those are the names that are being thrown out there the most. Uh, I'll give you the name. You tell me if you think they'll be traded before the deadline on Thursday as we sit here on Monday. And let's start with the biggest name, Amari Stoudemire. Yeah, Amari said uh, this week at All-Star Weekend he felt it was 60-40 chance he's staying I tend to think it's 75-25 he's going. Um, I just get the feeling that, you know, once the coaching situation is settled and that's all made official, and as we know it's going to be, um, they're going to start evaluating what they're doing with the roster. And I think there there's too many indications that they're out there shopping Stoudemire hard to think that they're going to pull back now. Where do you think the, th the three teams are, maybe the three cities that are most likely to have Stoudemire in them by the end of the week then? Well, right now, Chicago is, is the leader in the clubhouse. They have the right mix of things that Phoenix is trying to bring back. You know, an expiring contract in Drew Gooden, a young athletic uh, foreman in Tyrus Thomas. Uh, they also have uh, a draft pick they can throw in there. Um, so I, I think Chicago is, is there. I think you can't discount Detroit at this point. I think they have a similar uh, mix uh, with Amir Johnson as a young power forward they can, who doesn't make a lot of money. Um, so, you know, other than that, uh, I, you know, Portland was very much in the mix at one point. Now uh, I'm told not. So, you know, they're – they're just going down their list and you know trying to leverage the Chicago situation to see if anyone else steps up with anything better. All right, what about the other big name that's uh, been talked about in Phoenix? The likelihood that you think Shaquille O'Neal will be traded by Thursday? You know, I would say probably less than 10 percent. I mean, I don't see it. I don't. I don't see the interest out there. Um, you know, Shaq's entertaining and fun and and uh, showed us he has a few dance moves there with the Jabberwockies. But, um, you know, I think the Jabberwockies have a better chance of getting traded than Shaq. <laughs> well, Vince Carter, he's always had some nice moves uh, on and I'm sure off the court as well. Uh, what, his name is always out there come trade deadline. What about this one? Yeah, you know, the, the, this, is, this is an interesting one. The, the Nets, um, you know, many teams in the league believe the Nets would like to move him. Um, but the Nets have, have been pretty steadfast in, in, in turning down or not expressing a lot of interest in, in what in the offers that are coming their way. You know, there have been discussions with, with about a half a dozen teams. Um, you know, San Antonio and Dallas have, have been in that mix. I'm told that there's another team that, uh, where the discussions were more serious, but overall not serious enough to make the Nets even, um, you know, start – exchanging proposals or or going to owner Bruce Ratner to see if uh, he would sign off on it. So it's, it's, at this point, it's all been talk. I'm told the Nets have nothing nothing going and probably will not trade Vince Carter by Thursday. All right, well, they've gotten rid of Richard Jefferson and Jason Kidd of that trio that they have. Vince Carter, the only one uh, left. What about some big guys? Uh, we have talked about Brad Miller in the past, and I know there's a lot of chatter about the Kings getting rid of a lot of their players. What about a couple of other big men, Chris Kamen and Tyson Chandler? The Clippers are, are, are looking to trade Cayman. I think they will uh, most likely get that done. And Tyson Chandler is, is an interesting one in New Orleans. That's another team that is having financial troubles in these uh, uncertain times. And, you know, there's been some discussion that they're pretty active in, uh, in shopping Chandler around or at least letting everyone know that they're, they're open to, uh, to hearing offers. And the latest uh, discussions are with Oklahoma City. And that makes sense because the, the Thunder really are in the catbird seat in terms of a very valuable commodity that teams that are looking to cut salary or, or straighten out their cap situation going forward, and that's draft picks. The Thunder have five first-round picks in the next two drafts. So Sam Presti's uh, cell phone has been burning up, and one of the teams interested in uh, – a couple of those picks is, uh, is New Orleans. All right, real quickly, that's just one of those teams with commodities. Who are some others that have not necessarily players but other commodities that are very desirable? Well, of course you have Portland and Rafe LaFrance and his $13 million expiring contract. That's why Portland is involved in just about every discussion that's going on in the, in the league. 
Um, you have the Nets uh, also with a, an unprotected number one pick in 2010. That's Dallas's pick from the Jason Kidd trade. And that's the one thing that Mark Cuban admitted that he wished he had done differently, which is not to, which is put some protection on that pick. So that's a very valuable asset for the Nets. And don't forget Utah. Uh, the Stefan Marbury trade is the the mistake that keeps on giving to <laughs> Nick. The, the Jazz get a an unprotected number one in 2010 uh, from Phoenix via the Knicks from that Marbury trade. So that's also one of the uh, one of the most sought after sought-after assets uh, as we approach the trade deadline here. All right, Ken, we'll continue to uh, follow all this until Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Thank you very much, sir. All right, Jason. All right, folks, that's what to look for here as the uh, week gets going on Monday afternoon. For more from Ken Berger, stay with CBSSports.com. I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.